hello everyone in this video we are going to simulate a half wave controlled rectifier using rc triggering so in the previous video we were simulating the same half wave controlled rectifier using r triggering only so the improvement in this rc triggering circuit is that the firing angle control range is now from 0 to 180 degrees as compared to the previous case of R triggering where the firing angle range was only between 0 to 90 degrees okay so I uh, if you have missed that video I'll put the link in the description so let's start creating the circuit diagram so first of all we'll place an SCR then we need few resistors then we need a diode then a capacitor another resistor and another capacitor so double capacitor is used to increase the phase difference between the input and the triggering pulse so that it can introduce a phase shift greater than 90 degrees so that we can observe the firing angle range between 0 to 180 degrees now the circuit is complete and we have assigned the values to the components and let's assign a model to this thyristor so i have a spice model here that is mcr103 so i'll copy the path of this file and then i will include it as a spice directive so dot inc and here is the path for this library file and i can place it here and now next we will go to the configure analysis the stop time is 100 milliseconds means it will be around 5 cycles of the input with a time step having a maximum value of 100 microseconds all right so now the circuit is almost complete only thing left is we need to change the name to a different name which is same as in the spice model which is mcr under 3 so put it here now we are good to go so now let's start the simulation and let's observe the voltage across the output as well as the voltage across the thyristor this is the thyristor voltage and to observe the output voltage we need to take difference of the voltages bit uh, that is v in and v thyristor so we'll, we will be needing uh, needed to take the difference of the voltage so here it is v in minus v thyristor so this is our output all right so you can see that right now the firing angle is less than 90 degrees and it is almost 45 degrees so now let's increase this resistance to 100 kilo uh, uh, kilo ohms right so now you can see that the firing angle has increased a little bit but still it is less than 90 degrees let me increase this to 250 kilo ohms and then simulate it again and now here you can see that the voltage at the output is such that the firing angle is greater than 90 degrees now right so almost more than half of the positive half cycle is appearing across the thyristor as well as the negative complete half cycle is also appearing across the thyristor further increasing the me, uh, variable resistance that is three up to three hundred and fifty kilo ohms. You can see that the firing angle is further increased, and the 
average or the RMS output voltage has been decreased. Further, we can increase it to 400 kilo ohms, and we will observe that now it is approximately zero volt at the output, right? And decreasing this to 10 kilo ohms, what we can see, we can see that now the firing angle is less than 45 and it is between 0 and 45 right so the two capacitors have been introduced here to introduce a phase shift greater than 90 degrees so one capacitor can only compensate up to 90 90 degrees not greater than 90 degrees right so this is how rc triggering works so the diode is now in at this location instead of the previous this uh, it was at this location in the previous video and that was the just r triggering now after the diode we will get a rectified output voltage across this capacitor and then this rc circuit is used to introduce a further phase shift and achieve a pulse at this point that will be having a phase delay with respect to the input voltage right so this is an rc triggering uh, scr circuit which uses single input source to run the load as well as to trigger the gate of the thyristor right If you have any questions, you can ask in the comment section. And that's all about this video. Thank you so much.